All right, here we go. DL Hughley back on Vlad TV. Yes, it all it took was tequila and cigars, and we were right back, baby. Cigars. That's all it takes. <laughs> I'm such a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, man. You Thank know, you, always man. Always good to see you, man. Always. 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 Well, there's a lot going on right now. Sure. But I think, first and foremost, we have to talk about the whole Diddy situation. Yes. Well, now we know his name is Diddy, huh? Diddy or Diddy, huh? This is... <laughs> Diddy or Diddy not? I, you know, here's the thing. I, my position is really the same as the Constitution. I think you're innocent and to prove guilty. But I, I do find it amazing that every time uh, somebody's accused of something. Um, there are any number of people closely associated with that ordeal that can corroborate things. Like I heard some of his bodyguards right. um, talking about how there was champagne bought and the champagne was drugged and they were told to stay away from the champagne bottle. Certain champagne bottles, was champagne bottles they stayed away from, certain they took and that allegedly he went around and put drugs in people's mouths. Here's the thing. If you watch that shit and you didn't say nothing about that shit, you're just as horrible as he is if it happened. So I think that horrible people need accomplices too. And they can't do, like, it's amazing how when I watch, um, you know, I guess America won't get it or people won't get it until um, um, there is a documentary or a Gail King interview. Hmm. Because apparently our eds are connected to a remote control. But if he did the things that he's accused of, it is consistent with the type of things that people have done that are kind of morally bankrupt. And they surround themselves with people who are morally bankrupt and who abet them. And then those people um, go on to do interviews and sell interviews about the very horrors that they were accomplices to. It's, 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 it's insane to me. Well, yeah, uh, Cassie sued him for $30 million. Now, as soon as that happened, his lawyers responded, said that this is nonsense, and she's been trying to extort him, and she's going to write a tell-all right. book. But in less than 24 hours, right, he settled. Well, see, like, I, look, I don't, I don't know that that means paying somebody off means, like, you can't accept that it meant that uh, it was Puffy's admission of guilt and not accept that Michael Jackson was not guilty, you know what I mean, when he paid that loss. Right, sentence. right. So a, a settlement does not mean guilt. Right. I have had multiple lawsuits yes. and I've settled not because I was guilty. It was because it was ultimately so, cheaper to settle than to go through I. the to go through the legal process. As have I. I get it. But I did not settle those lawsuits in less than 24 hours either. Well, here, that here, that made it look a little crazy, didn't I, it? I, yes, it did. Yeah. But I can so say I can say this that I um, like you have been sued and settled. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and you know it's the it's the timing issue. I don't think that anything in and of itself means anything. But you are the things you've done. You are the things you've done. If if enough people, the thing that I find interesting is remember that that we talked about this last a couple times ago. Mm -hmm. They had that uh the uh the documentary on Freak Nick. Yes, which right? isn't out yet, is it? No, <laughs> because they 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 and then junked it in. But there were a lot of people on Freak Nick, right, who, who didn't want the things that they had been done to potentially have been caught on tape, right? Now, if those things exonerated them or proved that something they didn't want to happen, uh, proved that something that they didn't want to happen was happening, it wouldn't be a problem you seeing those things. But if they don't, then to me, people do all kinds of things and then, you know, you know, have a different perspective of them. So I'm willing to believe that I'm going willing to wait till all the facts came out. But to your point, it does seem, uh, it does seem curious that <laughs> right after I found out you tried to kill Suge and <laughs> like it was there, right after that, 